The fish that have generated so much interest in the city of London this winter are gizzard shad. They are a member of the herring family and get their name from the fact that they have a strongly muscled part of the digestive system, a gizzard, that allows them to effectively crush up and digest plant matter. Here in the Great Lakes Basin, gizzard shad are an important food source for many of our game fish species, including muskie, pike, walleye, and bass. This winter, people started reporting that there were very large schools of fish in the Thames River, thousands of fish, moving about in the city of London during the month of November. And then, by the start of December, people began reporting seeing them settled into a few specific locations where they can be seen every day. What people have been seeing is something that occurs every year in the city of London. The gizzard shad are searching out and congregating around warm water outlets. Gizzard shad are very sensitive to cold water temperatures and sudden changes in water temperature. They are prone to very large die-offs when these conditions occur, especially in late winter and early spring. To avoid this, they seek out the warmest spots they can find, and large urban areas often have a few of these spots. The outlets from wastewater treatment plants and underground storm sewer networks can stay above 10 degrees Celsius, even when the Thames River drops down to around 1 degree Celsius. So the gizzard shad will hang around these locations until the water in the Thames River warms back up in the spring. This winter, the gizzard shad have been quite noticeable as the water clarity has been good and there have been more gizzard shad here than in a typical winter. This may be because last year was a mild winter, so fewer gizzard shad died off than in a typical year. And with so many fish crowded into some of these areas, one of their interesting adaptations is in full use. Fish have a system of sensory receptors on the outside of their body called a lateral line. These receptors are very sensitive to vibrations close to the fish, and shad have a very dense network of these receptors, especially on their heads. As they get close to another fish, a rock, or the river bottom, the receptors go off and help the fish avoid collisions. Mm -hmm.